Hi, I'm Dan Gukin, and today we're going to talk about this guy, John Green. Now, John Green, according to Wikipedia, I have his page up here, he's an American politician and attorney, former peace officer, originally from Texas. Now, he moved to Idaho. It says, it says here, oh, by, by 2012, Green had moved to Idaho and sought a position as sheriff of Kootenai County unsuccessfully. Uh, when Green came here, he immediately decided that he would either join up with the far-right uh, North Kootenai County uh, alt-right redoubter, that, that fringe of the Republican Party, and embrace them because he wanted to be a constitutional sheriff. When, of course, this constitutional sheriff thing is nonsense. Actually, I support the argument, and you can call it a conspiracy theory, that Mr. Green and others who have ran for sheriff in Kootenai County believe that somehow the sheriff is above federal law and that they can go ahead and practice whatever they want to practice, and I'll get to what Green was doing in a few seconds, uh, but they can practice this without being arrested by federal officers, which is nonsense. No one is above the law. But apparently some on the far right don't get that, and I'll get to that in a second. So Mr. Green moves from Texas here, thinks that he's going to become sheriff. He runs in the 2012 primary. Here's the results. And he doesn't do well. He comes in last in a three-way race. But this doesn't deter him. He still wants to be sheriff. Badly, he runs again in 2016. He can bide his time for four years. And again, he comes in last. Not to give up, he's one of these guys who desperately wants to be elected to something. So he decides he's going to run for a position he doesn't want, which is in the state legislature. And by God, he wins. He has name recognition and uh, poor Doug O., uh, who did get elected this year, he uh, he lost to John Green on name recognition, I'm assuming, even though there's a lot of wackos up north. And they probably supported John Green and thought it was awesome that here they had John Green in office until all of a sudden John Green gets convicted for tax evasion. So here's a letter from the uh, state attorney general, Lawrence Wasden, uh, to uh, the Speaker of the House. John Green was convicted of a felony by a jury. Twelve of his peers in Texas, by the way, cannot escape the long arm of the law. John, as a lawman, you should know that, uh, convicted by a jury of conspiracy to defraud the United States. So I'm not going to get into the details of what he did, but this guy's a tax cheat. Thought he was smart enough to outsmart the IRS. Uh, and we have like uh, almost 100 years of people trying to do that and failing. Uh, pay your damn taxes. So uh, Mr. Green is now the subject of a resolution that was submitted to the Kootenai County Republican Central Committee this past Tuesday. North. And I was there. I'm a Kootenai County Republican Central Committee member. <laughs> if, you think that, if you think that some of the SJWs hated me for my last video, the Central Committee is not going to like this because I'm going to tell you what they did. Uh, and one of the reasons I stayed until 10 o'clock, it was a three-hour meeting, was specifically for this resolution. I'm going to put it up on the screen. It's long, but the gist of it is we, the Republican Central Committee, think that the government is being a bully to John Green. John Green was falsely accused, blah, 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 whereas, whereas, whereas. The second page uh, contains the resolution. Now, you see that I crossed it out here during the meeting because I found out that though they handed this out to all of us, that it wasn't really what we were going to vote on, that there was something else that we were going to vote on that, of course, no one on the committee had seen except for the chairman and the guy who submitted it, which, of course, is non-transparent and rude and everything. But they read it a few times to try. The gist of it is, it's not here, is that they wanted to appeal to Trump or to the attorney general to get them to overturn the case. And there's a couple of issues with that. First of all, John Green was convicted in a federal court. The guy's a tax cheat. He's a felon. He had his ass kicked out of the legislature. Okay? So why the hell would Republican Central Committee men want to associate themselves with a convicted felon and tax cheat? I asked this question at the meeting. And apparently there's still a majority of them who think, well, because John Green is a good guy, he's one of us. He's one of the, the redoubters. He's, you know, he's a... He's a God-fearing, you know, constitutionalist. But apparently, the Constitution doesn't apply if it's one of our friends. And that's the message that the GOP was sending, is that because John Green was convicted, he was, he was, he was targeted. And I agree, the IRS has targeted people in the past. They targeted the Tea Party. They're not targeting John Green. The asshole broke the law. He needs to go to jail. 
But yet your Kootenai County Central Committee, and a lot of you Republicans don't know this, you have a central committee. They voted that because John Green is their friend, they're going to send a letter to Donald Trump or Attorney Barr, I don't know what, and ask him to violate the separation of powers and overturn a case by the judicial branch. You have the executive branch or the judicial branch. And there were members of the committee that didn't buy this, that voted against it, but a majority of them said that even though Republicans say, we support the Constitution, we support the rule of law, except when it applies to one of our friends. That's the message this resolution says. And it was lost on a majority of the Republican Central Committee. And of course, one of their arguments, which was hilarious, was, oh, well, we'll just send this to Trump. You know, Trump will see, he knows the IRS is abusive. Yeah, I think Trump knows a lot about not paying taxes. So that makes a lot of sense. But it's not following the law and the Constitution. Hey, I know it may seem weird to you that I'm on the GOP Central Committee. But the thing is, I do support smaller government and personal accountability and fiscal conservatism. And there's a lot of Republicans who do. There's just not a lot of them on the Central Committee. There's not a lot of them in Washington, D.C. right now. I'd like to see more. Anyway, there's your update on this guy, John Green, and what your Central Committee has done. I'm Dan Gookin.